Hey, in this video, we're going to look at exactly what the differences are between UX and UI design. By the end of this video, you'll see exactly which kind of tasks and activities a UX designer and a UI designer actually undertake, and you'll be able to decide which one might be best suited to you. My name is Dee, and I've been a UX and UI designer for over 12 years. I've worked all around the world in tons of different industries for big and small companies, and I'd like to share some insights with you about what the real differences are between UX and UI design, because these two roles are often confused because they sound very similar, but there are huge differences. Before we get started, let me know in the comments which career path you might prefer, UX or UI, and why. Now let's dive in. So first, it's important to define these two terms. UX design or user experience design is about designing the whole experience. And UI design or user interface design is about the aesthetic experience. To give this a tangible example, think about a mobile app that you use every day. A UX designer has helped decide what features, what things would be in that product and how they work and how you feel while you're using them. A UI designer would have also taken part in designing that mobile app, but they would have been thinking about how things look as you're using them, how much space there is between things, how they're laid out, how much information is on each screen and where to put things so it's easy for you to click on. So it still sounds a little complicated, right? Both UX and UI designers are designing what we're using. But let's try and break this down to make it a little bit clearer. User experience and user interface. An experience involves a lot of different things. How you feel, where you are, what your motivations are in the moment you're doing them, what happens when you do something, what is the reaction. There's a lot of things involved in how you experience anything. Now let's look at the word interface. An interface is a particular thing that you make one or more interactions with. Think of a remote control with buttons on it. Think of the microwave where you have to turn the dial or press the button to do something. That is one thing that you are interfacing with to achieve something. So this is the real difference between user experience and user interface. An experience is it has involved so many things. An experience involves the environment, how you feel, what you want, and all the different ways you can do it. And an interface is that one tangible thing that you interact with to get something particular done. Let's get a bit more tangible with hopefully a product that most people use every day, Spotify. If you use Spotify as a music service, you'll be able to picture exactly what I'm talking about. If Spotify was just getting started today and they wanted to hire people, they would want to hire UX designers to help understand new ways for people to listen to music. And they would hire UI designers to visually represent those new ways of listening in a way that was easy for people to use. So the difference between the UX designers and UI designers that might work at Spotify, you can imagine they work really closely together, but the UX designers are understanding people's behavior, understanding music listening needs, coming up with concepts for new ways of addressing those needs and giving them new ways to make their music listening experience easier. They're designing the experience of listening to music with Spotify and the UI designers are still taking all of that information and this is where there's some overlap, but they're purely focused on the visual representation of those features, those new tools, those new ideas, laying them out and visually representing them so that people can see how to use what they've created. So let's look a little bit more about the exact tasks that a UX and a UI designer does, where they're really different and where they overlap. So a UX designer starts with research, understanding people, understanding customers, does some concepting, workshopping to try different ideas, come up with different concepts to try and solve the user problems, to try and find ways to improve the user's experience. The UI designer takes on from there and creates the clear visual representation of all of these things, the, all of these concepts and these ideas that need to be visually laid out so a user can see what they need to do. So let's take a look at a real example to more clearly illustrate what we're talking about. If we look back at Spotify as the example and we think about hmm, what parts would the UX designer have done and what parts would the UI designer have done when working on the Spotify app? We take a look at the screen where we've got a playlist of songs playing 
and the UX designer would have been part of deciding how playlists work and what people want out of playlists, how many songs should be in a playlist, how do we get more music into the playlist. The UI designer's responsibility would be to take all of that and make it very obvious exactly what those, how those things work. So for example, on this view we're looking at here, we can see very clearly that this song is the one that's playing because the UI designer has decided to highlight the name of the song in green and put it at the top of the playlist. You can also see at the bottom in small writing you've got the play bar where you can see that the pause button is showing and that tells us that it's currently playing because we can hit the pause button to pause it. So these are the kinds of things where the UI designer needs to know how to clearly visually represent to the user what is happening and what they can do and what they can do next. So UX and UI designers often work on the same projects and often at the same time, but they're really responsible for very different things. UX designer responsible for the overall experience, understanding the users and helping give concepts and ways of improving the experience for users. And the UI designer is responsible for visually representing all of these concepts and ideas in a way the user knows exactly how to use them. So the places where we see the work of the UX designer and the UI designer really overlapping is where there's a connection between the conceptual and the visual work. So a UI designer sometimes in some jobs might do a bit of conceptual wireframing before they get into the really concrete visual work. And a UX designer in some jobs, in some companies, might be given the task of taking their concepts and, and wireframes and mockups into a more finished visual state. And that's why there is this confusion with jobs, uh, often jobs are called UX slash UI designer because some companies want you to do bits of both, but to clearly understand the difference so that you can choose the profession and the career direction that's right for you, it's really important to understand that there are very different responsibilities within these two roles. So you might do bits of both, but you can really decide which one fits you best so you can decide the career path that you'll be happier on. So looking at this example from Spotify now, we can really clearly list the kinds of things that a UI designer actually does. It's the typography, the, the lettering, the colors, the general style and branding, the space in between items, the boldness and strength of, of some items over others to give them importance and hierarchy, the number of things that we decide to put on the screen to make it easier to understand what's there. It's the icons the, and the images that are carefully placed to give meaning to what the user is doing. All of these things are the job of the UI designer. And what about you? How can you tell which career path would be right for you? And it comes down to a lot more than what I've just described. It's about personal interest, personality, the way you like to work, the way you like to think. And I've got a few other tips that might help you decide which career path is best for you. Comparing and contrasting UX and UI design, there are some real differences in the ways that you will work, the ways that you will spend your time. As a UX designer, You'll definitely work with people a lot. You'll work with users and colleagues and run workshops and participate in collaborative activities. But in UI design, you'll have more tasks that are just your responsibility and you'll get to sit and think and work on your own a bit more. In UX design, you look a lot more at the big picture, the big insights, the overall view, and you really get to unravel the mysteries and the beginning of problems. And you, in UI design, you really get to see things through to the end and put the final finishing touches on everything. With UX design, there's a lot of listening and observation and patience, which can be really rewarding. And with UI design, there's a lot more deep focus on the detailed visual work. So I hope you found that useful and you have some clearer direction over whether UX design or UI design is right for you. Please let me know in the comments below which career path you think is right for you. And if you have any questions about any of the topics we've talked about, please let us know and we will answer you as soon as we can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the Career Foundry channel for more UX and UI videos just like this every week. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time a new video is released. If you're interested in either of these professions, Career Foundry have two great free short courses in each of these areas, and you can use the links below to sign up. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Yes, 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 yes. What the colors are, how the buttons feel to look at, how the buttons feel to look at. Just connecting the conceptual to the visual. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> write it down, write it down, write it down. <laughs> Parts in between. This fly just went like that. 
Can you see it? The police to below. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just like fix it? 